So then he's like, you know what? I've been turned down twice. I need to find my best man. I should go to my most humble friend. So he went up to his most humble friend and asked him, will you be my best man? And I figured I'd already said no to him twice, so I might as well say yes now. It's been an absolutely magical night so far, and none of this would have been possible without Christina. And she did so much to put all of this together. There are so many things that she just found and put together and brought the people together. So a huge round of applause for everything that Christina did. And so now what you guys just did, now just about 15% of that for Tyler for the little bit that he helped out with. You both make each other better and are stronger together. So if everyone could raise a glass, I'd like to make a quick toast. They say you don't marry the person you can live with, but you marry the person that you can't live without. And that sums up Tyler and Christina perfectly. So here's to Mr. and Mrs. Arnold. Christy's older sister, Kate. Um, flashing back to the very beginning, I still remember uh, exactly what I was doing and where we were the day my mother told my brother Mike and I that we were getting a baby sister. I was going, yes, 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 on the way to the airport to pick dad up. And I looked over at Mike who was sitting beside me and he had his head in his hands and was crying. <laughs> Uh, I left for college when she was only 10, so I felt I missed out on a lot of her growing up. So any breaks where I was back home or home for the summer, I tried to make up for that time away. And we had a standing sister-sister date night every Tuesday night, right? Uh, bowling, movies, mini golf. I think we even made candles one Tuesday night. You name it, we did it. Um, over the course of those sister-sister date nights, we became extremely close. Uh, Christy is a phenomenal listener, gives really good advice, and helps analyze the pros and cons of every situation with that accounting brain of hers. Uh, the only thing better than me getting to have her as a sister is my daughter's getting to have her as an aunt. Uh, over the years, as I've attended um, several weddings of close family friends and, and others, I've always made it a point to seek out the couple who's been married the longest and ask them for their best marriage advice. Um, here are a few that have resonated with me that I'd like to pass on to our newlyweds here. Uh, anything in life worth having requires hard work. Marriage is no exception. You have to work at your marriage. Uh, communication is always key. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, and my favorite, marriage is a partnership, but not every year is 50-50. Some years it might feel like one spouse is putting in 60% of the work and the other 40 and vice versa. So you kind of have to ride the wave. Be determined, communicate, and work on your marriage every day. Love is a choice. Make the choice to love the other person every day. Lastly, you're going to need to set your drink down, Tyler and Chris, for this one. Tyler, take Christy's hands, place your hand over hers. Now remember this moment and cherish it because this will be the last time you'll ever have the upper hand. <laughs> Cheers to the bride and groom.